Is it a case of Meghan Markle, material girl? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you today. By the way, thank you for your lovely comments about um, the free prescriptions with the actress I mentioned about. So strange, isn't it, when you get these things and you get to a certain age and then suddenly you say, oh no, you've reached that point. It's free. I was uh, walking an actor around from the studio the other day uh, to a bus and uh, he's 86. A brilliant guy, you know, and just absolutely wonderful. And the thing is, what made me laugh was he said, normally he'd get a cab, but now he's got this bus pass and he's had it a while. He said he's like a child in a toy shop. And the other thing was, I felt really sorry for him. You know, and this is the thing, isn't it, when you get a little bit older. He's had two brand new hips. And he said he gets annoyed with the buses, the way they shoot off before he sat down. And I thought about that afterwards. And I thought, yeah, we don't know what's going on, do we? We should be a little bit kinder to people. He looks sprightly, looks fabulous, but two new hips. I won't embarrass him to reveal who it is. But I just thought I'd share that with you because people out there that are probably going through the same thing. Doesn't matter whether you're rich, famous or not. Yeah. You've got a grip on, haven't you? <laughs> Simple as that. Back as ever to your breaking world story of the day. Now, as we all know, Meghan Markle had to wave goodbye to that mega deal with Spotify. And we told you first here on the show that she got the bulk of the money, so it wasn't too worrying. And of course, the person who came out and claimed that she was talentless. A lot of people misconstrued that by saying, oh, you know, you're on Harry and Meghan's side. Don't be ridiculous. We're on nobody's side. The bottom line is I'm presenting the news to you as we find it. I thought it was a little bit crass on his point of view because if I was working for him now, I might think, okay, so if I fall out with him, would he do the same to me? It's just really about having manners and dignity in that role, isn't it? It doesn't matter that you're a superstar agent. You do have to think, how do you come across on that particular role? But there he did. He went public and said that she was talentless or not very good at doing audio or whatever. Twelve episodes in, people were bored rigid. And of course, despite the talents of Mariah Carey, Serena Williams, it didn't come back. But it looks like the material girl herself, Madonna, was approached. And as ever, we have to say allegedly, yes, the Papa Don't Preach girl who knows exactly how to create a, you know, an absolute storm is currently recovering uh, from a bacterial infection. So let's wish her well, because, you know, she was clearly going to be going on tour i think she's going to really miss that and having met and interviewed madonna on quite a number of occasions whatever you think of her she's a grafter a worker she really works hard for the money as they say but what's interesting is according to that source megan did reach out to madonna so when you think about it you have taylor swift madonna and those are the people that we know who else actually refuted the chance to sit down the duchess and i believe the reason is this it's a simple fact of Knowing like Mariah, who was very clever the way she manipulated that interview and called Megan out for being a diva herself, she was able to turn it back in her favour. But really, everybody didn't talk about the interview. They just talked about Megan. And Madonna, being very shrewd, would know that it has to be about her. So while she may have put these people forward to Spotify, if she couldn't nail them, even with a letter full of calligraphy, what was she meant to do? And they, of course, Spotify, would have simply felt that her name alone would have got people through the door. Clearly it didn't. Clearly it didn't work. And clearly from Madonna, it really was a case of not willing to strike a pose or even Vogue to sit down opposite Meghan. Either way, I think it would have been an interesting conversation because having met, as I say, and interviewed Madonna, the only winner in that interview, I might say, would be Madonna. She gets what she wants every single time. Putting two ladies like that together could have been explosive, but seemingly Madonna did not want to know. The way it was a case of bye bye baby. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.